the developmental milestone series which focuses on the development of your child and activities that you can do with your child to help them learn and grow from birth to three years old. That being said, let's dive into those developmental milestones for your three month old baby. and together my husband and I have three children, three and under. And on the Carnahan fam, we focus on intentional, positive parenting. You see, I'm an early childhood educator, my husband is a medical school student, and we are so, so passionate about the development of your child and of your family as a whole. Which brings us to the Developmental Milestone series, which is what you are in right now, which focuses on the development of your child and activities that you can do with your child to help them learn and grow at each and every developmental stage from birth to three years old. So again, if you're new, subscribe to our channel so you can have the tools that you need to help your child learn and grow. That being said, let's dive into those developmental milestones for your three month old baby. We're gonna start off today with gross motor milestones and gross motor milestones are milestones for your baby that are related to the large muscles in their body. So their arms, their trunk, their legs, and with babies, especially their neck. The first gross motor milestone for your three month old baby is that when they're in a vertical position, they can hold their head up straight nice and high. One way that you can help baby really strengthen those neck muscles to be able to hold her head up high and gain that head control is that as often as possible give your baby the opportunity to sit up on your lap rather than laying down in a cradled position. As she practices this skill more and more that neck will get even stronger and soon enough you'll be able to start moving baby even away from your body sitting out further and further on your leg even out to maybe your knee where her head isn't being supported by your body any longer. The next girl motor milestone for your three month old baby is that when lying down they can turn their head in all different directions. Here's what you can do to help her strengthen her neck while she's still lying down. Instead of just standing above her talking to her, go to the side of her so that she has to turn her head. Maybe then you go to the other side and talk to her from that direction. This encourages her to continue moving her head in different directions, strengthening those neck muscles. The next set of milestones for your three month old baby are fine motor milestones. And fine motor milestones relate to the muscles in your baby's hands and fingers. The first fine motor milestone for your three month old baby is that baby is beginning to bring things up to her mouth. That might even be something as simple as her little hands, but it now also includes toys. You can help her to develop the skill by providing her with a variety of different toys that she can hold. Throughout all of these activities, you will see that many of the materials that we use with our three month old are made by Love Every, which is a developmental toy company that specifically makes toys geared towards your baby's developmental needs at any given stage. We actually have several videos on our channel reviewing a lot of the toys that are offered by Love Every. We love Love Every toys and you can find out more information about them in the links in the description below. But back to strengthening those hands. Provide baby with several toys that are very easy for her hands to grip. Show her how to bring her hands again up to her mouth so she can see what that feels like. Soon enough, she will be doing it all on her own. The next fine motor milestone for your three month old baby is an increased hand-eye coordination, though it's still not very fluid. She can practice her hand-eye coordination again by being offered simple toys for her to hold, as well as playing under something like a play mat, which is one of our three month old's favorites. In the last month, we've been able to see her become more intentional about watching the toys that are above her and then trying to hit them with her hands herself. Again, it lacks precision, but that hand-eye coordination is coming. Now we're gonna move on to cognitive milestones for your three-month-old baby. And cognitive milestones are milestones that are related to the way that your baby thinks, processes information and remembers. And the first cognitive milestone for your three-month-old baby is that she may begin imitating. This might look like copying a funny face you make, sticking your tongue out, blinking your eyes. She's noticing those motions on your face and trying to do them herself. One way that you can help her develop this skill is by giving your baby a lot of face time with you. Getting nice and close to your baby and making those silly faces with her. Show her how you stick out your tongue, how you intentionally do a big-eyed blink, or how you yourself can blow spit bubbles. All of those face-to-face -face interactions will not only help your baby to better understand her world around her, but it'll also deepen her relationship and connection with you. The next cognitive milestone for your three-month-old baby is that she's beginning to smile and talk 
more at real people and less at inanimate objects or other images. You can help her to strengthen this skill by exposing her to a variety of things. Show her picture cards, pictures of real life things, pictures of pretend things, real life faces like your own or siblings, pets and other real life animals. The more exposure that she has to real versus pretend things, the better her brain will begin to be able to separate those things and naturally you'll start to see her talk and smile more at the things that are real. Next we're going to move into speech milestones and speech milestones are related to both your baby's expressive communication as well as your baby's receptive communication skills. At this point your three month old baby is likely making a variety of sounds. Coos, gurgles, maybe some open vowels or even beginning consonant sounds. Now that she has all of these sounds your first speech milestone for your three month old baby is that she might begin combining these sounds together. Maybe she makes some gurgly sounds in her throat and then opens up with an ah. Combining those gurgles, vowels, and limited consonant sounds is the next step in your baby developing further expressive communication skills. You can encourage baby to do this by imitating the sounds that she's saying. When she makes a gurgle or an ooh or an ah, repeat it back to her. Say those same sounds that she herself is saying to you. Then you might take that sound and change it into something else. your mouth she will soon learn how to do that herself. Our next speech milestone goes along with just that and then it's that your three month old baby is paying attention to the speech that she hears around her. You likely already noticed this with your three month old as she watches you intently as you talk to her. You could simply do the activity from the previous milestone and expand on her language but another way that you can help her to pay attention to the speech sounds that you are making is by singing to her. Songs are so interesting to babies because they are filled with rhythms and rhymes, inflections of your voice, hand gestures and facial expressions. Songs up and up a whole another world of expressive communication. Next we are going to briefly mention one the self-care milestone and self-care milestones are related to the way that your baby understands her own basic needs and the way that she contributes to fulfilling them. And the self-care milestone for your three-month-old baby is that you're starting to see some patterns between your baby's sleep, eating, and activity needs. The best thing that you can do for your three-month-old baby is to encourage regular eat, play, and sleep cycles for your baby. This is because when your baby's body has a predictable time that they eat, that they wake up, that they play, when they go back to sleep, both their minds and their physical bodies are better regulated and that is when they are really able to thrive. We are really really passionate about predictable and consistent eat, sleep, and play routines for your baby. It's mentioned several times in videos throughout our channel, but we specifically have one to help establish that with your baby on our channel that I will link above as well as in the description below for you. And now we'll move on to baby's social emotional milestones, and those are milestones related to the way that your baby understands and interprets her own feelings as well as her interactions with others. The first social emotional milestone for your three month old baby is that your baby smiles often and spontaneously. This right here is so, so simple and at the same time so very powerful and that is if you want your baby to smile, smile at your baby. Make eye contact with her, smile at her. She will feel that warmth coming from you. She'll feel that connection when you look her in the eyes and that will undoubtedly provoke her to smile. Do this consistently enough and you will have the happiest baby on the block. The last social emotional milestone for your three month old baby is that baby is now beginning to be interested in her own reflection in the mirror. Just so you know, she doesn't recognize that cute little baby in there as herself just yet, but it's a great social experience for her to be able to see that little baby in the mirror. I love to do this by bringing baby up to the mirror with me while I'm getting ready, but also a mirror for your baby is one of my favorite favorite things to put in her nursery or play space. And that brings us to the end of our three month old developmental milestones today. We hope you enjoy this series with your new little one. And again, we invite you to subscribe to our channel because this series goes from birth all the way up to three years old. So subscribe to our channel so you can be a more intentional parent and have the tools that you need to support your baby in her growth and development. All right, thanks again for joining us today. We'll see you again next time.